Hello everyone, this is Kuroda giving a tutorial between Ghost and Avernus here on Blistering Sands. So Ghost is the red Terran player, meanwhile Avernus is the teal Protoss player. So it's going to be Terran versus Protoss here on Blistering Sands. Now, I'll try to um, highlight different things than the first game that I did on Blistering Sands. So hopefully I will not double up anything over here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the replay just a little bit until the game gets underway and then hopefully I will be able to do a better a better recap at the end. So nice supply depot being placed over here. Now, as you get more and more comfortable with your supply depots and your supply depot placement, you may decide to leave your supply depot and build it down here. Building your supply depot down here allows your SCV to return to work faster and it also makes it so that you don't get like supply locked for a little bit of time. You see at this stage in the game your supply locked finally going into 12 over 19 and now you can you're also able to build the barracks. The barracks should also be you can build a barracks and then also build one other building here and then one final supply making a very very narrow choke point. Now we have a probe in your base. First things first, you want to make sure that that you you take you deal with that scouting probe. The second, you taking a look at in your base right here. Um, you should either be thinking about putting down a second barracks or dropping a refinery. I don't see you doing either of each in this situation, and you really need that early gas. That early gas will enable you to get a little bit more tech much more quickly. You see, you're seeing at almost 150 minerals, and still no additional gas refinery, no um, no gas refinery, and no. Um, extra barracks so by the time that your barracks is going to be completed you're going to be almost at 250 you could cancel this scv drop a second barracks and also a build an additional or upgrade your orbital command you are um, you should also be producing more marines in here one thing to note whenever you see a double gas like this early on for protoss players you have you pretty much assume that they are going to be going a little bit of a heavier um, a, a cybernetics core build into a, a robo base so either a two gate or a one gate into perhaps void rays or um, void rays or immortals both of them are fairly strong avernus i think if you went into if you went into a void ray would have been able to uh, push in a little bit more easily however you are getting marines so finally you're getting your refinery up and now you're throwing down your second barracks when at this stage you should probably be throwing down a factory instead if you had the gas if you had um, dropped that gas down earlier as soon as you see that cybernetics core you know that um, you may need an, um, an additional barracks with a tech lab so two two barracks with a tech lab and then a factory and that would be enough to continue to uh, pump out units now getting an, an extra gas over here so very nice play and so far so far much better than the first game i passed it you see that uh, you do a very good job doing your in initial scouting but you do not um, keep track. You also don't use your scanner sweeps on that main base. Normally, after the second barracks is up or after I get my factory down, I really want to keep track I, I want to keep track of um, what exactly his tech is. I want to be able to scan his base, figure out what he's going for. Even if you scan and you and you um, miss a little bit of his tech, then you should still be able to get a, a general idea. If you scanned off in this position, you would have seen the two gate, so you know that he is going into a two gate push. Um, if you only saw one gate and then you didn't see any other tech, perhaps he's trying to go into a one gate, trying to hide a star gate from you in order to do either a phoenix rush where you graviton beam workers or in void rays. So looking at the armies, looking at the actions per minute, actions per minute are in the 35, 36. You could probably speed that up a little bit, but that just comes with practice in playing the game. Back over here, nice positioning of that supply depot. Remember to watch and keep track of your mini map. One of the hardest things to do in, in order to keep track. Also, the supply depot here, and I wouldn't have put it there. I would have perhaps put it here. What you're trying to do with the supply depot is trying to gain sight into um, into that crevice over there, but it's not going to really give you that much sight. A siege tank here and will be able to cover more of the ridge and then also give you more sight here. So look, looking here, you don't really gain that much sight in, in that position. So um, no real reason to move, build that supply depot here. It doesn't offer you sight across that ravine. Now, you also like a lot of reactors. Um, reactors are are strong, but you should, perhaps you, if you want to go for Vikings or even Hellions and, and Medivacs for the, with those reactors, that'd probably be a stronger and better use. Like lifting off this bar of uh, lifting off this barracks in order to place down a starport, and then um, producing double Medivacs. Also, you did not research any of these um, the marine abilities. If you're going to be producing the amount of marines that you have, you have 12 marines very early in the game. 
giving giving each marine an additional 10 hit points is absolutely absolutely huge it, it effectively makes all of your you uh, increases your i guess your marine survivability count by um, nearly 20 percent so and that's much stronger especially when you um, couple that with stim pack and um, instead of being at f um, 35 hit points they're at 45 hit points after the stim pack i do like this command center here but you really want to looking at the harvester count you're still only at 26 harvesters so you probably wanted to either uh, either upgrade to an orbital command after you built this command center or started training up some additional scvs to try to saturate this mineral line down here so you went into a three racks build with us with one factory and and the siege tank and those siege tanks are now moving on out and um, you have a, a good number of marines a couple of marauders in play as well but your production wise you were just able to macro up a much stronger army this whole entire game if you look the the main reason why um the, why the outcome of the game is the way it's going to be is you have more harvesters you're getting it looks like you're short one gas unit somewhere yeah um, you're missing a single gas here you uh, SCV on gas here. You want to make sure that there's always three SCVs on each gas. And this is what it looks like when there's three SCVs on each gas. This is what it looks like when there's two. Siege tanks now uh, be, uh, continuing to be produced. Uh, you cr you only have one barracks on your hotkey. You can go ahead and shift click all of these barracks together. And then you, you can, and by hitting that one hockey, you can try to start training and you can start tabbing between these buildings and train it that way. So even during a fight, you can start hitting, um, it looks like you have it hotkeyed the two. So you can hit, go ahead and hit two and then start tabbing around trying to get, um, trying to get a, a better, um, trying to keep up your production. Down over here, uh, you are getting some extra gas you should probably try to transfer some scvs over whenever you know you're going to be taking an additional expansion continue producing scvs continually 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 uh, you also have an observer in your base this is one of those instances where the protoss player that early observer is just so strong being able to encounter and being able to counter your army your army however is just a little bit stronger and more and, and your macro is much stronger so you're able to produce many more units than your opponent so now these siege tanks and marines marauders now moving on out taking down that one probe so that probe getting taken down fairly early um, also no warp gate research by your opponent that really hurts him, him later on as the warp gate ability really increases the production of these gateways and a little bit of a advice for protoss whenever you see you're you're very very gas heavy this early in the game you may want to drop some sentries sentries only cost 50 minerals and 100 gas and it really balances out your army you're able to produce more and more units one i think that immortal is stuck um yeah yeah everyone is now shooting down that pylon making sure that that immortal can now move on out marines coming in and a little bit of engagement here siege tanks battling it up and firing marines and marauders coming in and now these marines sh should not be running around like that they should really be engaging the whole entire time you lost a lot of dps in that fight uh, by having these marines and marauders um, the Marines and Marauders not engaging those Stalkers and, and those Siege Tanks were taken down pretty needlessly. In comes the one Immortal. Luckily the Immortal is not, was not really focused firing any, uh, any one particular Marauder. So one of your Marauders was down to one hit point. So that one armor really coming in handy, able to keep it around. And then because of your stronger economy, you're just able to just come in here and run over with a much stronger economy. He's not really chrono boosting enough. More Stalkers coming in to do a little bit of engagement. Probes not coming off the line to try to lend a little bit of a helping hand. And Avernus is going to lose his nexus and be forced to say GG. I did like the fact that you had more harvesters, but you only have 29 harvesters running off of two bases. Um, really, um, you can run off of one base with 29 harvesters, and your mineral count will fairly much be the same. The only difference is you are getting extra gas, but sitting looking at this, you are sitting at 2155 and 1048. Just as a little bit of a math note, for every, um, I, b I believe for every 500 minerals, it comes out to be um, eight food on average that you could have produced. So um, off of this, off of your 2,000 minerals sitting here, you could have produced an additional 32 food worth of units, that, and that's including supply. So since you're already so um, so free on your supply, you probably could have um, had an army of size 40. Your production is only on two marines, even though you have three barracks and one factory. So always make sure to hotkey your buildings 
Some Terran players like to hotkey all of their production buildings onto one key and then tab through them. Others like to um, assign specific buildings, you know, barracks to one key, factories to another, and then starports to another with their command uh, with their orbital command on another. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you um, enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and yeah, and get in contact with me if you have any uh, specific questions. Ghost.